Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel and welcome to a rather wet and windy drizzly day. That'll be yuck. So it's in my garage time and what are we here to talk about today? Headlights, LED bulbs. Is it the way to go? Well, let's find out where we started from. Let's not go back to seal beam car units. Let's go back to the halogen lamp. One of these. We've all got them in our cars, bikes, heavy rain. All got them basically, whether they're H7s. Wow, look at this. It's just not the sort of weather you want to actually get caught outside in it. And I've often been caught, unfortunately, outside, isn't it? <laughs> Weatherproof clothing, gloves, boots, yeah, it's a necessity on a day like today. Or just not ride. However, I digress, so stay with me. Whether they're H4s, H7s, and all the other H's you can get, let's go to the humble one, okay? Now this one isn't your standard one. This one is a super 30% or 50% extra. It's got some sort of extra gas in there, I guess. Now, if you're on a moped, check the bulbs first. A lot of mopeds actually got 35 watt bulbs. Peugeot Speed Fights, these are 35 watt. And some of the old dome bulbs, and they're also 35 watt. And the problem with them is it's not good to upgrade them. With 35 watt, a lot of people stick in 55, 60 bulbs, just whack them in there. They're still not very bright, and they wonder why it does mess around with your bike. A little static coil hasn't the power, but let's move away from little peds for the time being. And if you've got a dim light on one of those bikes, unfortunately, that's what you're going to have. You may be able to upgrade to LED straight away. But let's go back. These are where we started from. And they started, someone had blue, didn't they? Little tints of blue. And I remember back in the 90s where I did do that to my bulbs. I got blue ones, thought they were really good, and I couldn't see sod all down the road. Not very clever, so I went back. There's also some bad ones of these. Remember, 5560. There's some 100 watt bulbs you can buy from China. Don't put them in your bike. Don't use them at all. Now, if you notice on this one, they're plastic and a lot of motorbike headlights are plastic a lot of cars are as well when you get the 100 watt bulbs they will burn and discolor this plastic here i've seen it i've had it also it can cause damage to your electrics it's taking an awful lot of power from your bike and your wires will heat up and start to melt and can not only blow the bulb or catch fire or discolor what you're trying to actually get better from so do not use the 100 watt bulb. And it's just like your little heaters. 55 watt, 100 watt. Creates more heat. A little bit more light, but a much more heat. It's not good, don't use them. Top tip. But after these Exxon gas ones and so on came out, we moved on to the HID kits. Doesn't matter what box they came in. The internet was flooded by these. It came with extra wire clippings and so on. Again, they came out in H4s, H7s, so single, two pin, or this slightly more complicated one that I had in my car, which is a three pin. That was HID and that was just an ordinary bulb. So when you flip to high beam, they're actually back to crap again. Yeah. This was just a little bit of it. And then you had your ballast pack or your charger, and then you had all this, and you had to plug these in, drill through the back of them. They had an awful lot of gump basically to reconnect it and stick it into your headlight now cars you get away with it motorbikes to be honest with you it was very very complicated um and they also had a big failing as well unless you paid really good money for them they just go on and off and I had this on my bmw when i fitted them on there and I had this on my car turn it on drive along 30 seconds maybe five minutes pop it go off turn it on turn it back on again it worked fine for a couple of three days yeah, they, they weren't brilliant unless you paid a lot of money for them. I say the internet is still full of these at cheap money, you know, £25 a set in China. They just weren't very reliable. Then came first generation LED, and they also, some of them had a little ballast pack as well. Then we move on to the second generation, which these are now. And you can pick these up for £15 to £20 on anywhere, basically. Facebook sales, eBay, everywhere. Now these are much, much better, nice and neat. No big extension wires, just little bits. Still can be a bit of a bugger to get on your bike. The back of the headlight, you generally don't have a lot of room. Now, if you can see down there, I've already got the back off. Now, here comes a warning. The last owner of this particular bike 
tried to fit a pack of these, and I think it was the Mark 1s he tried to fit, he said they had a ballast pack, and he broke the rocker bit inside that allows you to lift your lights up and down. 400 pounds later, ouch, he didn't want to put any more in. Now I've just been fiddling around for a little while, and there is a little bit of a fiddle. Do not, when you get these, pop the bulb in and think, hey presto, because you've still got the connectors. So you are going to have to play around a bit, see if you can do it at all. Some have got a bit of room underneath, some haven't. And it's up to you if you want to drill through and connect them outside and tape them up. Hey, I'm not going to go too deep into that, but what do you get? Now this one in here has already got one of these extra Xeon gas bulbs. So it's basically like 50% brighter, but still only the 5560 what you need. These LED ones are a lot less power. So if you're going to have a scooter and you're going to try and get one of these in, if you can, brilliant job best way to go if I'm honest with you but again try and work it out there are a lot of fiddling around don't just try and ram it in now I've changed one side already and you think you can see that compared to that was a bit high wasn't it compared to one of these Exxon bulbs that are actually supposed to be a 50% or 30% brighter not sure which but you can see they're both in there so let's turn them on and see what you get straight away you really should be noticing how much whiter one is and if you get very close uh, a bit bright there for your eyeballs there's the white and there's one that is supposedly 50 percent extra now they are actually quite good but when i put my fog lights or running lights on which were these ones here they were the same color as these but wow that is hell and all difference and a very happy upgrade if i do say so myself now to be honest with you I really am going to keep the old bulbs with me in the back box just in case they blow on the way home. I have got my running lights here I can have on as well, but just in case they blow, you know, the last thing you'd want. So I don't know the uh, reliability of these LED ones. I'm sure they're fine. They're supposed to be non-error, but I'm going to keep the old bulbs with me. And I'm not going to show you me fiddling around and trying to ram it in there like I normally would do because at the end of the day, every bike's going to be different. Now I said, you've got to be able to get in there nicely. Do not force them too hard. Let's get on and fit this one. Well, let's show you the basics and let's speed it up a little bit. So you can see already in here, I've actually got a cable that feeds my running daylights. But this is what I'm trying to say. You take that part off and tuck it down there. You won't always be that lucky to do it. Let's just wiggle the old end cap off, which I've done now and I'm going to get the bulb out. Now it is a little bit working blind. We've done this this many times, you do reasonably get good at it. The bar's out of your way. The cap can't come off on this one because of the cable. And we have gone to the right side again. So you sort of split the fingers in half as it were. Top and bottom. Now it comes. And you move away with the bulb. Like so. Very careful, do not ever touch the end of this bulb. Your hand has got all sort of greases on them, this gets so hot it can blow the bulb. So take care of these, put them back where you got them from in a packet, or if not like me, when you put them in the box that these came in. Oh, instructions. So, one bulb, two bulb, nicely in there, I'm gonna put a bit of cloth in the top there, I'm gonna put that in the back box keep them with me quick top tip remember when you're getting these in feed your three prong bit underneath plug it in underneath and then get it in don't just pop that in because you're gonna have them hanging outside and it won't work so try and work it out as best you can you may have to take it in and out a couple of times if you've got the sponge bit that goes over the top of that great if not like i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it in that way and then fiddle about an awful lot so let's fast forward oh, 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 man. Word of warning. Ah. If you have the patience of a rattlesnake, don't do this. If you've got really large hands, don't do this. And if you haven't got the perseverance of keep going and going and pushing and shoving and trying to hold a torch in your mouth, which doesn't taste very nice, don't do this, okay? <laughs> so what I can say, it is hard, okay? Trying to push them in gently enough not to break anything, but firm enough to better squeeze it in. What I had to do with mine, and I can remonstrate to you, is 
this part of the back of the bulb I had to where the bulb was I had to tuck underneath the other connector and then I had to get my hands underneath and push it up and then push this into it and then tuck that away and then trying to get it all back into it it was bloody hard okay that's all I can say I try not to exaggerate in any of these and lucky enough on this one when it's weight at the back you got a little tap on the lights you can bring them down now if you can adjust your lights to the higher setting and then get them underneath and then really lower them down brilliant idea second idea take the damn headlight off and then do it on a, a workbench or something great idea now with this one i had a lot a lot of room so i was actually quite happy to be able to do it just twist the bars around and do it and i've done it yay me now Recently I had a pan and I changed the little bulbs in there and that was hell and I couldn't imagine doing it there. Although there's probably lots of room at the back, I'd have had to took the whole thing off to try and get in there. Because you can't work blind, okay? And you most certainly can't plug these in. Just demonstrating the... Yeah, give it to that. Anyway, there we go. Ready for the reveal now. For, make sure they're working. As I said, I'm going to keep the old bulbs in the boot just in case. Yes, at the side of the road, I'd be pretty angry if they went, or both went. I'd be really unlucky with that one, they're both going. But I think for a little while, I'm going to keep them with me um, and just go from there. Right, reveal. And for this demonstration, I'll be starting the bike. And I really, really do love the sound of this bike. then what a result fingers still hurt I've got the biggest of hands happy days now if you're a fella and you want to fit some of these bulbs and you have a slender wife get her to stick her hands in there <laughs> top tip <laughs> probably won't do it will they if not get them out persevere it's all, all work DIY's about um, if it goes wrong, you, yeah, you always get your old bulb stick back in. Do not force them, okay? That's all I can say. You wiggle around with it, but don't force it, don't snap it or break it. Like the previous owner did with this. Anyway, I'm going to wait for it to get dark. Stop raining outside. I'm not going to go out in that though. I need it dark. And I'm going to give them a go. I am very happy. So that gets a real thumbs up for LED lights. Second generation anyway. As I said, 15, 20 pounds. That's really good value, to be honest with you. You pay that for a set of Exxon bulbs anyway. And a lot more for the old HID kits, which, as I said, I don't love, couldn't depend on them. These, I'll let you know in a few months what they're like. I am loving riding this. Check out the videos on these Tigers. They're understated. Nice triple 800cc engines, and I'm really happy with it. With a nice Yoshi exhaust on it. Sounds the nuts. Check out my videos on there for other bikes as well, and some cars as well, if you really want to watch them. What I'm saying is 425 videos worth a look through it's one a day for like a year and a half come on what more could you want <laughs> don't put maths okay i understand that anyway please like share subscribe stay with me if you don't like the next video you might like the one after that so do stay with me please 7700 i think subscribers now really really happy with you guys thank you so much you take care of yourselves on these roads summer's coming let's get out there oh. So we're at what? And some have even the old sort of dome bulbs in there. Also the also bulb. And it's just like your little heaters. And generation LED. And they also, some of them had a little ballast pack as well. Because <clears throat> remember at the back of the bike. Because remember at the back of the headlight. Myself. I do like instructions. You know how much I like instructions. Blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. 
That was really easy, wasn't it? Honest, I read them. Okay then, what a result. Really happy with you all guys, thank you so much. You take care of yourselves on these roads, summer's coming, let's get out there.